Do you of our as IS judges, teachers and friends, we are a group of four students from Experimental School of Science and Education of Vietnam. We are here today to present our study named Impacts of Social Distancing During COVID-19 on Well-being of School Students in Vietnam. The aim of our study was to access the physical and mental well-being of secondary Vietnamese students aged 12 to 15 after four times of national and local social distancing in Vietnam. The sample of the research was composed by 594 students and 87 parents and teachers at ESES who responded to our online questionnaires and interviews. The survey link was sent to the participants via email and shared through messenger apps. Our study was conducted totally online from the 15th to the 13th of August 2021 during the complete lockdown period in Vietnam. Lessons were conducted online, students were required to spend the whole day at home and were not allowed to leave their house. There are several limitations to the study given its rapid and simple nature to access impacts of COVID-19 on students. There are four parts in our presentation. First, Implementation of social distancing in Vietnam. Second, the study results. Third, strategies. And fourth, conclusion and recommendations. So, how has the Vietnamese government handled the pandemic COVID-19? Let's overview the situation of COVID-19 and social distancing periods in Vietnam. Since the first case of COVID-19 was reported in Vietnam, on the 23rd of January 2020, the government of Vietnam, GOV, accelerated efforts to contain the spread of the virus and provide treatment to those infected. To prevent the outbreak, the government put in place regulations restricting the mobility of people, closing schools and non-essential supplies facilities, as well as implementing over time a regime of social and physical distancing according to UNICEF. UNICEF 2020 reports school closing has impacted an estimated 21.2 million children in Vietnam. With schools shut because of COVID-19, millions of students have been spending far more time at home and online than they usually do. Especially for children from disadvantaged families, this meant a loss of access to key health and protection services, as well as subsidized school meals. On screen, you can see the challenge data among the Vietnamese children faced to COVID-19 collected by Vietnam Child Care Organization. For example, one children in 48 dies before its fifth birthday. 10% of school age children are out of school. 16% of children are engaged in child labor. One in 34 girls between the age of 15 and 19 has given birth. Next, the end will tell you our study results. Regarding physical health, um, about 55.83% of our respondents uh, highlighted that uh, their daily level of physical activities uh, decreased or significantly decreased. About 43.6% of them realized that they had gained weight um, and 38.1% of them had problems. Um, only 22.7% of children has minor health problems, such as temporary pre-vision, hearing, back, neck problems after having online sections. Unsurprisingly, uh, up to 75% of students had worsened a different level uh, since the beginning of the pandemic. A high percentage of students have suffered uh, experienced different levels of mental problems. About 87.03% of them had stress or anxiety. About 78.06% of them uh, suffered disappointment or sadness. About 77.47% of them felt lonely and isolated. About 84.25% of them have stress and about 82.35% of them have anxiety, and about 73.25% of them um, receive sadness, and finally about 16.1% of them had depression. 
um, only 12.6% of respondents claim that they were also witnessing domestic violence between their parents and they were being a victim of child abuse. So in the next part in our presentation, we'll find out the positive points and uh, of the COVID-19. Our negative effects of all, the pandemic also brings some positive ones. The study revealed that the majority of the participants believe that social distancing is a good strategy for coping the COVID-19 pandemic. Social distancing worked for all our respondents. None of them got infected by the virus, and some students reported that they positively utilized the internet to the fullest, either for learning or others. Some respondents revealed that they focus more on themselves and enhance their studies. 67.5% of students responded that they could spend more time on their interests and learning new things online. 57 of teenagers responded that their stretcher from learning at school reduced significantly during isolation. 53.5 respondents highlighted that they had more time with their family and their relationship with family improved much closer. Besides studying positive and negative effects of the COVID-19 quarantine, we also look at differences of two personality groups, introverts and extroverts, based on four degrees of frequency. Rarely, never, sometimes and often that team may suffer from six negative mental health problems and one positive one. From the collected data, 35% of respondents in the introverted group answered that they never and rarely had mental health problems, even 25%. 5.3 said that they got used to the new situation very quickly, they found new ways to ease and relax themselves during the far away from social period. However, 34.5% of students from the extrovert personality group is reported that they often and sometimes have mental health problems. Too much confusing information from media caused them more, in more stress, uncertainty and anxiety. Here are six strategies for teenagers to face with the new temporary situation suggested by Dr. Lisa Demore, expert adolescent psychologist on UNICEF website. 1. Recognize that your anxiety is completely normal. 2. Find a distraction. 3. Find new ways to connect with friends. 4. Focus on yourself. 5. Connect with your feelings. 6. Be kind to yourselves and to others. So, let's follow five ways for well-being. Connect, give, take notice, keep learning, and be active. So, after all things considered, this study revealed that EXEX students in Vietnam strongly believe that the uh, measures of social distancing give the best results in fighting the epidemic. Also, we found that a high rate of people had mental disorders after the COVID-19 pandemic had begun in Vietnam. These findings highlight the need to implement health uh, promotion and prevention strategies among adolescents. Next is our recommendations to help the mental health of school students. The policymakers are encouraged to ensure children are at the heart of socio-economic development planning, budgeting, and maintain focus on sustaining progress against SDGs, keeping children physically and mentally healthy, while nourished and safe should be the most urgent priority. The Vietnamese government should make the period of social distancing relatively short. This limits the burden of loneliness on school students. They should also increase online awareness campaigns on the benefits of social distancing. Schools ought to launch and implement mental health and psychology co-support programs, support children and their families in coping with continued uncertainties from pandemics. School students are encouraged to make use of social distancing for their personal development. More so, they should change their negative attitude towards social distancing. Social distancing can be good rather than harm unless it becomes a lifelong habit. That's the end of our research. We would like to express our gratitude to our mentors, students, and everybody that helped us in the making of this research, especially Sekola Seri Puteri for giving us a wonderful chance to participate in efforts to raise awareness, prevent misinformation, and promote communities and spirit. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.